Okay, so while we're waiting so, for our guests to come on, let's talk. Let's do a little little housekeeping here. Let's talk about, um, dude. Let's talk about some of the stuff on Netflix we've been watching. Yes, and I finally finished the ritual. <laughs> Sorry, you finished the ritual. Sorry, Curtis Lee responded to uh, <laughs> my phone's about to die. I'm sorry, I can't monitor chat. Um, yeah, the ritual. Oh my gosh, like that's not really in the retroverse, but I'm no. down to talk about it. Let's talk about it though, because it was okay. it was good, it was really good. Um, my first impressions, though, it was slow. It was slow. And I almost lost interest completely in it until I hear everybody talking about how great this movie is. Um, so I stuck with it and, you know, it took about about halfway through the movie before it really, to me, started getting interesting. Yeah. Roxy, come on. So but I know we, we talked, another, a, talked a, a little bit about it last night. We talked a little bit about it last night too on our on our live let's play. And yeah, you had some issues with the movie. That's some issues. Some. I do think the movie was good. But um there there is some slight issues with it. Like mm -hmm. And and you never know. Maybe if they had another if they had another uh movie after this kind of like with the whole paradox thing with with the other movie we were watching. But I don't think they need to do a part two. I think they need to do a prequel because right. it seemed to me like most of the issues that you had and in thinking about it, there are legitimate issues as to what was the monster? What was the God that they were worshiping? Why were right. these people? Like, why did they feel like they were trapped in this forest and why couldn't spoilers? I'm, I'm just going to say spoilers the end. Yeah. Why was this monster trapped in the forest? Why couldn't he leave the forest? What was the monster? Definitely. Like, well, yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. And yeah, it, it leaves a little bit of, it adds to the suspense of not knowing what it is. It's a crazy looking monster. Um, <coughs> yeah, it was, it was like human and minotaur and deer and elk and it had like bear six and hands wookie. in odd places. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It was like a wookie. It was like uh, War of the Worlds, fucking alien with an arm growing out of his chest. Yeah. Oh, uh, going back a few minutes on on chat, we were talking about your Atari because people that are watching the YouTube channel and listening on the podcast won't know what we're talking about. But Motu Joe did say that uh, if if it's yeah. jacked, painted up, he agrees with Brandon to do a stormtrooper version of it. That would be really cool. Fuck it. Do it. We'll do it. I'll figure it out. Figure it out, man. I'll, I can mod the shit out of that. You ever seen the inside of an Atari 2600? I have there's not nothing to it, up. dude. Really? Yeah. There's absolutely freaking nothing to it. It's a circuit board, like, literally this big. And it's got, like, dude, it looks like a three-year-old soldered half the shit on it. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing, actually. Like, there's a lot of shit you could probably do with it. Yeah. So I'll figure it out though. Anyway, sorry. The ritual. I didn't yeah. Get off. Yeah. Um. Dude, your video on Google Hangouts is about twenty seconds behind what you're saying. It's just your video. Just my video. Your audio is fine, but your video is lagging like twenty seconds. So. Yeah, I was doing that with you, and. Uh, Freddie, the other night, like I don't know why it's lagging. Like everything's still set up the same. Mm. So that's weird. Yeah. Oh well. I mean, as long as your audio is fine, just well, yeah. Uh, uh, when the, play I the playback on our uh, on our other deal, it was good. Like it was all timed out perfect. It was like no problem. 
was in there like swimwear. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, Brandon says major video lag too, but oh well. As long as the audio's lined up. Yeah. Um well, I mean, how how in depth do you want to get into this movie? Because it's it's a new dude, movie. Dude, it was a whole bunch of circles Spoilers. of the same thing. And so so honestly, I thought about this movie today, totally off topic, and I don't really want to delve into that kind of topic with uh, this group. But yeah, um, because what happened to start that movie off? It happened in the UK in London, and um, and it's it's a whole the whole firearm bullshit and all that stuff and Uh in the club and they beat the guy at the start. And, um, I don't know, man, like it doesn't have anything to do with firearms, which, which we're not going to get into that subject on the show, but it doesn't really have anything to do with the firearms because I mean, they beat the guy with a pipe or whatever. But the bad guy had a club, right? Yeah. And it's because it's because, the UK is a gun-free fucking mm. state, country, yeah. territory. Yeah. But it all boils country, down but... to the fact that this yeah. guy, I guess, had to he live was a pussy. with the fact that, yeah, that he was being a pussy and he couldn't, wouldn't do anything to defend. Like, he was holding that bottle. He was getting ready to do it, but he just couldn't, he couldn't bring himself to jump out there and just beat the ever-living shit out of this guy. Yeah. Uh, to save well, here's his friend. Deal. Why did the other guy do anything either? He had bottles all around him. He just stood there like, oh, hit me. Like, even though he looked back when he got hit, but dude was, dude was literally, uh, what, maybe half a foot shorter than him that hit him? Yeah. Like, maybe it was just, I don't know, he man. just froze. I don't know. He got scared and froze. I mean, some people do that. It's just, it's just Fight instinctual. Or flight. Fight or flight. Fight or flight. Yep. 